Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is the place to go for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about AUD USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect of this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, which are essentially hedge funds, so the big players in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here on this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment from a pattern perspective has created an impulse to the upside followed by a correction. Now, in general, if you have an impulse and you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, what we can notice is that at the moment, the market seems to be rejecting the zone, which is in between the 50% and 0.618 of the Fibonacci taking on this monthly impulse. Now, this is a quite strong monthly demand and support area from which there is the possibility to see more bullish continuation. Now, it is also important to point in mind that this is also an area from which the market previously had found support, which now that the market broke below it, is actually acting as resistance. So we're kind of stuck in between this previous monthly support and resistance and the demand and support that we have previously identified by looking at the Fibonacci level. So we have to drop down on the weekly time frame to get a bit more clarity. Now, if we drop down on the weekly, things already get a bit more clear. In fact, we can notice that these two levels that we have just identified on the monthly are in fact constraining this market inside of our range. In fact, we can see how we have the bottom of the range here and the top of the range here. Every time that the market is testing this zone is getting rejected to the downside. When it is testing this zone here is getting rejected to the upside. So essentially, we have a range bound market until the market will remain in between these two levels. We could expect more sideways and horizontal price action for this market. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see now? From a daily perspective, this is where things get quite interesting. Now, I did speak about AUDUSD a few days ago after the market created this W formation from here. I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the downside. And by the way, I will link in description that previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education. However, what we can notice at the moment is that we just created a new pattern in creating this move to the downside. In fact, in creating this move to the downside, the market has printed this M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what you could expect is a potential move higher for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline, which is this previous support turned resistance. So here on the daily, what we could expect is a potential move higher for the completion of this M pattern at the previous support turned resistance. We can also notice how we just had a test of the support here, rejection, retest. So there is the possibility of a potential double bottom getting created at this zone before then getting rejected to the upside, considering that this is a quite strong structure level for this market, which was in fact acting as previous support here. Again, here preceding these two rejections to the upside, broke to the downside and acted as resistance here with the creation of this red candle. And now that the market is, there's a, now that the market is approaching it from above, is currently acting as support, increasing the probabilities of a potential move to the upside. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data precisely for the AUD, we can see how with the last reports, net positions have been decreasing. We went from having minus 27k net positions to minus 49k net positions. However, we now don't see any more shorts getting added. In fact, this decrease of the net positions was coming with many shorts getting 
opened from an institutional perspective. 9,000 here, another 3,000, another 6,000, another 3,000. However, with the last report, we can see how we had 6,900 shorts getting closed from an institutional perspective on the AUD. Now, we don't see longs added yet, However, it is important to keep in mind that since institutions are not interested in the short anymore, and this is quite strong support as we are approaching also the bottom of the range that we have previously identified on the weekly time frame, there is the possibility of seeing a potential rejection to the upside away from the area if institutions will start longing inside of this zone, which we should see with the new report coming out. So how we could be approaching this potential rejection to the upside. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing, potentially also with students, is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential move higher for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline for the market to go and test the top of this range. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest you to go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website here. You have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment there is a massive special promotion in which you have a huge discount on the upfront price of the mentorship program from 497 all the way down to only 97. And as an option, since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, if you join and open an account with them after you join the mentorship program from your student dashboard and essentially move your trading there, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. And if you scroll lower, you will see that at the, moment, at the moment there is still time to join before the offer expires and price goes back to normal. And directly from here, there is the button to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. And I will see you in my next breakdown.